Welcome to Quick Bites with Budding. I'm Joanne Rush, and this is Stacy Geisler from the Budding Kitchens. And today, Stacy's going to show us how to make the all-time favorite pinwheels. That's right, Joanne. These are one of our customers' favorites. They look great. They really look fancy, and it's a great way to impress your friends at parties. They're perfect for picnics and snacks as well. Oh, snacks! Good idea. I like that. Yeah. So, how do you make it? Okay, here's all you need to make the perfect pinwheel. You're gonna start with four ounces of budding meat, either beef or ham, eight ounces of cream cheese, a tablespoon of grated onion, a teaspoon of horseradish, and just a dash of Worcestershire. Worcestershire, okay, good thing you said. <laughs> <laughs> then you're gonna simply blend the ingredients. Keep mixing until it's blended by oh, hand I, thoroughly. Just in one bowl too, right? Just in I one like bowl. That. So yeah, this recipe is perfect. It's easy, easy. preparation, easy cleanup. Once the mixture is thoroughly mixed, you're going to spread it on two slices of overlap budded meat. So you want to be careful to spread thinly, not too thickly. Once the meat is covered, mm -hmm. like what you have over there, you right. can begin rolling. So if you want to give it a try, that okay. would be great. Okay. I'm not going to promise pretty now. <laughs> okay. It's important to keep the roll tight. Yeah. Okay. I'm doing it. Great. Very good. Got to pick the one up on the bottom. Good. Not bad, that's easy to do. Perfect. Then once all the mixture is used up and all the rolls are rolled, you're going to put in the refrigerator for about two hours. Okay. Hey, if you run out of time, could you also pop it in the freezer for a little while? And sure, it's a great idea. It oh, great good. idea. Good. Then prior to serving, you're going to pull them out of the refrigerator or freezer and cut into bite-sized slices and then arrange on a tray for serving. I know, and I love them. They always look so cool on a tree. I just love it. Now that recipe and a lot of others are available on the website at budding.com, right? Correct. Wonderful. Well, I'm Joanne Rush, and this is Stacy Geisler, and thanks again for joining us for Quick Bites with Budding.